Hi family and welcome to this video. Now, I'm sorry that I haven't been consistent last week with my videos. I had pre-filmed the videos but I didn't have time to kind of uh, to edit them and to put them on my channel so I'm very sorry for that. I had so much to do and I always had headache at night. Uh, very bad headache so I unfortunately I couldn't edit those videos but I'm going to put them on my channel of course there we are here to review me myself and Mama Mitchell palette now I've seen Mama Mitchell on Jeffrey's Jeffrey's uh, channel a couple of times and I really liked what he did with the makeup and when I saw this on Beauty Bay and I love Beauty Bay I immediately wanted it. It's very colorful. It's very beautiful uh, palette. You can see it here. It has a mirror, magnetic mirror in the middle. And it says that this palette has 32 shades, 24 matte, 8 shimmers, featuring a brand new matte formula and light pressed shimmer shades. The pressed pigment in this palette are super buildable, uh, blendable and have unreal color payoff. And of course I wanted it because I was uh, hunting for a very colorful, colorful palette. And it's bulky, it's big, but it's beautiful. So if you want to see me swatch these and create a makeup look and kind of get my first impression, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this palette is... Um, going for, I'm going to put the price down here. I can't remember, but you're going to see it on the screen. It's pressed pigment palette. It says, "Hi guys, first of all, I love you. I can't believe that this. Uh, I can't believe the day has come for me to launch this palette with Beauty Bay, I, and I'm so excited for you guys to try it out. This was honestly one of my biggest dreams, and as a team, we made it come true. So." To thank you guys for all the support and your constant love. I made our dream palette affordable, highly pigmented and of course in inspirational. So that we never have to think which eyeshadow look should I do for today. I'll go for today. Me, myself and Mama Michel is for you and for me. It's something we can share and re representation as a representation of the journey you guys have take me on. As a makeup artist, I understand that we need uh, personality in our palettes, so I created this one with a mix of neutrals, bold and bright mattes, and sparkly shimmers. It was made with love, cons consideration, and skills. So hopefully with this palette, your dreams can come true as well. And your dreams can uh, come true as well. You guys have become... Uh, more than just followers you guys are my friends my family and all together the reason I made this palette so thank you for making all of this reality and uh, oh and lastly I love you to infinity very cute message I really like it so uh, some colors contains pigment which according to US law may not be suitable for use in a eye area this is uh, cruelty free and vegan what that means is um, that it's going to stain your eyelid so they need to put that over there but I don't care if it stains my eyelids the palette looks like this it, it's packed with bubble wrap so I really like that and this is the palette so cute so beautiful and it's kind of bulky but I'm I'm not hating it um, Let's open it. It's magnetic, so you have this side, the mirror that you can take out also, and this side. Now, I saw this online, I saw his video on the YouTube, Bay, and I thought the pants were smaller on the um, video, but in reality, they're much bigger than I thought than I thought it they would. So I'm very su positive surprised with this palette. I mean, all of this shade looks stunning, stunning, stunning. Let me just take out the mirror. Oh, I almost dropped it. Um, they look very cute. They're big and... Uh, let's see, can we... Yeah. It almost... It can stand up, so that's good. And it's a very nice big mirror. So I'm going to use it. I think I want to do like a yellow, uh, orange makeup look. 
uh, this time I'm definitely going to create more makeup look when I try this palette, but I can't wait anymore. This purple look adorable. Or should I go with purples? I feel like I did purples for not long ago. Hmm. But I've done orange too. Well, let's go with orange and uh, yellows today. So let's start. And of course, after this makeup look, I'm going to... Um, let's remove this one. I'm going to kind of forgot, lost my words. I'm going to swatch this palette. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> and I'm going definitely to use this mirror today. So I'm going to hold it. All of the names are, or almost all of them, I think the one shade is, uh, the green one is, starts with a dollar sign, but all of the shades start with an M. And uh, I'm going to go in with Macaroni, this shade, beautiful shade in my crease. I'm going to say the names, I'll try to say the names of the sh shadows. They are very soft pressed, so be careful. And oh, this blend so nice. And pans are so big. I haven't, I didn't expect that. They saw the pellets are of course uh, big in the video too, but the pans are bigger than I thought they would be. So happy. And surprised that's the case with this shade is cute I mean it's uh, very buildable god I love this shade I have nothing like this in my collection you can probably hear my children I need to clean my desk I mean I have things everywhere here in front of me I like like this a lot I'm going to use a clean brush and then I'm going to go in with Moodest beige color, very light shade, and go above, can't really see the shade on my uh, eyelids, but I think I want to dip up the macaroni that I had, that I have in my crease, so I'm going to use this brush, this is uh, Morphe and uh, Jaclyn Hill, 32, go in with that green yellow shade again, and that pop that right into the crease. To kind of dip it up we are going to go in with another shade too but i really like this shade so green yellow they're definitely easy to blend so i'm going to use same the same brush and i'm going to go in with the mental the orange shade oh go right into the crease see these blend nice same brush I'm going to go in with the man-made that orange brown shade dark shade very pigmented But also very blendable. I really like this. I haven't tried any uh, eyeshadow palettes from Beauty Bay. They released beautiful eyeshadow palettes, but I never bought any. Bought any. But uh, I really liked how uh, Mitchell is very creative, and uh, the makeup looks he made did on Jeffrey Star were amazing. So, of course, I wanted to support him. I don't I haven't seen him in uh, on other channels or watched many videos of him but I really like what he did on uh, on um, Jeffree Star so I want to take another blending brush and actually I want to go in back with that macaroni shade just to dip it up a little bit I feel like we lost that shade and I don't want to lose it I'm going to man take Manchester, the bright 
yellow shade and go a little bit above yes This is cute. I like this a lot. And I'm going to go in with my finger and take the shimmer shade melted, the yellow green or yellow. It looks yellow green in pan, but it's very yellow. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of these kind of shades, but oh my God, this is beautiful. And this is pigmented. There is some fallout, so. I maybe made a mistake doing my makeup first. Oh, so soft pressed. Look at this. Oh my god. This is stunning. I know you could do a cut crease, but I don't want to do a cut crease. I want to use, I want to do a very easy makeup look today. I don't feel like doing anything special so uh, this looks nice though I do want to deep up the corner a little bit so I'm going to take another shade brush uh, I'm going to take this from Sosu and Kayla Esco 01 and I'm going to take again that mad uh, man mad old brown shade and deep up the corner around here so beautiful and go back with that green yellow shade again just to blend everything stunning and I want to go in with a smaller brush and take try to take this muffin muffin the shimmery white shade I'm trying to pop up pop uh pop it here I forgot to talk. Oh, this is more like, um, I don't know what I think about. This is more like pink. It's beautiful, but I don't feel like it's doing what I want it to do. I'm going to take this Manchester instead. Pop that. I'm going to blend Manchester under the eyes. There is some fallout, so you have to be careful. I'm blending Manchester under my lower lash line, bringing it very low. I'm going to take this kind of brush and go in with this um, mixer dark yellow shade and go very close to my eyes, uh, lower lash line oh, very pigmented when you pack these shades on and I want to go into man-made dark orange brown shade that we had cool and kind of now you can if you want go in with black just to dip it up a little bit more but I don't want to do that I think I'm very happy with this makeup look how it looks right now so I'm going to clean up and I'm going to put some eyelashes eyelashes and mascara on and I'll be right back so this is the final look I apply the for the first time in uh, Nikia Joyce Cosmetics eyelashes in Ashley 2.0 and they were kind of long so I had to cut a lot but they are so beautiful the um, eyelash you know the line it is so thin it's you can't see it and when you when I apply these they look like mine I can't when you look very close you can't see the eyelash band it's so thin it's so flexible so easy to put them on especially I use my new tweezers this is from uh, Brushworks, it's also a cruelty free brand. The straight ones are perfect for the eyelashes to apply them. So easy, so I really like this. And uh, my new favorite eyelashes. But this is the makeup look. I'm very happy with the makeup look. I did went with the Anastasia and um, uh, Amrezi highlighter in the corners. So I'm going to swatch. Um, very easy, very blendable. So I'm going to swatch these 
first and uh, I'm going to raise my hand so you can see it on this side and on the other side I'm going to swatch these shades so I'm going to start to swatch them very easy very buildable very soft press so you have to be careful when you go in I do want to this is the first row I don't know if you can see it can you see it yes you can second wood very soft press very pigmented wow. can you see the swatches here no I think I need to bring them like down here so you can see that so I'm going to do so very beautiful very very beautiful swatches let's go in with the uh, this shade Muse want to pop pop out This shade is very loose. It looks like it's going to pop out any second now. Yes, and think I'm going to press it a little bit It's moving. I don't know if you can see but it's move. I I'm scared to show you but it's moving when I go in with my finger Like it doesn't sit sit properly in the pan so beautiful palette I can see it and uh, mini is also loose in, uh, loose in the pan so that one I need to be careful too with so I don't lose it oh this pink it's Barbie pink beautiful so this is the first And my fingers are very stained, and as you can see, um, so they are definitely going to stain your eyes. So let's go in with this side. So beautiful neutral shades. These four shades are very nice. This green is beautiful. Beautiful. This one has like a green shimmer. And we have a last one to think to swatch and my fingers are stained so yeah but we're going to do this and the other side so that's all of the swatches. <laughs> I need to go and take a shower. But I really think this is a beautiful palette, uh, palette and I do recommend it. But if you're looking for a palette with these kind of shades, bright shades and uh, pigments, I think this is very good because the price is right, the shades are right, it's so easy to work with, it's beginner friendly. And that's really important for me because I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not an expert. I think I get better every time when I create the very colorful makeup look. So I'm learning. This is my go-to makeup look. I mean, I just do this kind of looks all the time. But it's very important for me that it's very easy to work with. Otherwise, I won't reach for it when I'm in a hurry, which is, I feel like, every day right now. But I think it's a very, very, very beautiful palette, very affordable. I do recommend it. I really, really do recommend it. I'm definitely interested to try more eyeshadows from Beauty Bay uh, because something, the, this quality is so good. I really like it. Um, but guys, I, I hope, please let me know down below what you think about this makeup look, this palette. Um, Beauty Bay as a makeup brand too. Please let me know down below. And yeah, my fingers are... Hmm. stained but that is what it is i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and i see you in my next video i love you all bye